Nearly 18 hours after those winners, the final runner of the 2015 Boston Marathon crossed the finish line. It was an emotional moment for a man who suffers from muscular dystrophy. He used all his strength to take those final steps. While he may have had trouble making the 26.2 mile journey, moving crowds to tears was no problem. Susie Steinwell has the story. Throughout the majority of the Boston Marathon, we tend to focus on who finishes first. Tuesday morning, Michael Malamud proved coming in last can be just as powerful. Malamud was born with a rare muscular condition that makes simply moving difficult. His dedicated supporters count every step until he collapses and begins again. I have no words. He's, he's a real hero. A real hero. I really admire him. Walking with Michael is um, it's almost like a prayer. You know his intention and it's a place of sitting. It's a place where silence grows and that space grows and movement happens. But he doesn't let the monsoon-like conditions bring him down, even joking about not making it in time to get a medal. Uh, I'm blamed because uh, I'm so late. <laughs> Malamud wanted to end his five marathon journey where it all began in Boston. He received life saving treatment at the Children's Hospital here as a young boy. He came back to send a message that sometimes all it takes to reach people is putting one foot in front of the other. Human beings uh, are here to connect each other and to all together create amazing stuff. This is not about Michael, this is not just about Venezuela, it's really about the world and it's about creating a world for peace with the intention of putting humanity first. Malamud proves sometimes nice guys really do finish last. The world is different today and you know it. We love you so much. We owe you so much. In Boston, Susie Steimel, WBZ News.